Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom, a walk through the book of Proverbs. Uh, we're looking at some of the Proverbs that are very short, but with a simple, clear meaning that challenges us to learn how to walk in wisdom. And so today the theme is simply this, watch your mouth. Be careful with, with what comes out of this uh, little opening in the front of your face, because it can become a real problem. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 24 says this, Keep your mouth free of perversity. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. The reality is what we say has much more power and impact than we ever realize. I travel a lot uh, flying, and when I fly, I can tell when there's people around me who aren't watching their mouth. They're not keeping their mouth free of perversity. Uh, there, I've been in planes where in one row there's a couple guys talking. It's usually men that are being real foul mouth, and uh, occasionally women, but I'm just saying what my experience has been on planes, it's usually a couple guys talking. They don't even notice that the profanity, the perversity, the, the, the negativity of the way they're speaking, and they often speak loudly. And then two rows back, I'll see a mom with a couple of kids. And that mom is, is not really reaching over to cover the kid's ears, but, but it's kind of, you could tell the mom's looking going, you know, I don't want my kid hearing this, but I don't want to go and tell these guys to be careful, but they're not guarding their mouth. They're not watching their mouth. And the invitation here from Proverbs is be careful what you say. And if there's things coming out of your mouth that, that are negative, that are hurtful, that are perverse, that, that are not edifying to others, be careful. Certainly check your surroundings and see who's around you. Don't put someone in that awkward place of having to say to you, hey, I've got kids here. I've even actually seen people mention that and the people look at them like, that doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to do whatever I want. So here's a few thoughts today from this passage. Stop and ask yourself this question. What comes out of my mouth? What comes out of my mouth in private? What comes out of my mouth in public? Are you tuned into that? Are you listening to yourself as you speak? Also, encourage yourself, can I speak things more and more often that are true that are good, that are edifying, that if people hear who I don't even know they're listening, it would actually bring a joy to their heart. It would bring some kind of blessing to them. Do you recognize that what you say matters? And so guard your lips, guard your mouth. The book of James addresses this. It says our tongue can be like a fire that sets a forest on a blaze if we're not careful. And so here, here's the challenge today, to weigh your words, to slow down throughout this day and the days to come, and when you're about to speak, ask yourself, can I say this better? Can I say this kinder? Are there some things I could peel out of what I'm saying that really aren't making it any better? And I could kind of lower the, the, the tone of the, what Proverbs says, perversity or negativity or anger. And then say, can I begin to speak more and more in a way that would lift up people, encourage people, and bring joy to them? A simple, how are you doing? A smile and a thank you very much with eye contact goes a long way. So, guard your mouth. Be careful what comes out of your mouth and see how God then blesses you and the people around you. Will you pray with me? Living God, you spoke and everything came into creation. There was power in your words. And when we speak, they have more of an impact than we realize. Help us to check our words, guard our mouths, and even God give us the power to speak words of blessing and encouragement to the people around us that we know and love and even to strangers. Let our words bring joy and blessing wherever we go. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great rest of your day.